Hello and welcome to a student's review of the career prospects of the BSMS degree at Isaac Kolkata. In part 1, we shall be talking about the academic opportunities after doing a BSMS at Isaac. Hi, I am Akash from the recently graduated 19MS batch of Isaac Kolkata. I majored in physics and I am also an incoming PhD student at the Fritz Haber Institute in Berlin, Germany. Before we begin, let's have a quick overview of the various options one has after doing a BSMS at Isaac. Now in terms of academic options, the most preferred option is to do a PhD after BSMS. The second most preferred option is to do an MBA. And the third most preferred option is to do an MTech in Computer Sciences or Data Sciences after a BSMS at Isaac. Now in terms of non-academic options, one has the option of taking placements, having their own startup, or taking up government jobs. Now, most Isa graduates, that is 60 to 80 percent of them, to go for a PhD either in India or abroad. In, now, one can find Isa Kolkata alumni at a lot of prestigious PhD positions across the globe, namely Oxford and Cambridge in UK. Ivy Leagues and Stanford and the sorts in US, the Max Planck institutions in Germany, ETH, EPFL in Switzerland, TIFR and ISC in India, etc. Now a PhD is preferable as it opens the door to R&D sector positions and academic positions in India and abroad. Now one of the good things about the interdisciplinary nature of the BSMS course at ISER is that one is not restricted to their major subject at ISA when it comes to doing a PhD. For example, a maths graduate can do a PhD in physics or, or a physics graduate can do a PhD in computer sciences. Now coming to the salaries for a PhD. For a PhD abroad, the salaries are quite good and even on a conservative estimate, one can easily save around 400 euros per month. Now this is a very conservative estimate, usually save more than that. PhDs in India, the salary is usually around 30 to 40,000 per month, though this can go as high as 1 lakh per month if one has a fellowship such as BMRF. Now for PhD positions in US, UK and Australia, one needs to have TOEFL and GRE scores and the application period is usually around the ninth semester of the BSMS program. For PhDs in India, one needs CSI and NEET or GATE scores and the application period is usually around the ninth semester of the BSMS. For PhDs in Europe, one doesn't need test scores, however, one needs relevant research experience and decent CGPA. And the applications are usually open throughout the year. Now, a sizable chunk of Pfizer graduates go for an MBA at prestigious business schools in India and abroad. For an MBA in India, one needs to appear for CAT. For an MBA abroad, one may need TOEFL and slash or GMAT scores. Now, a small number of Pfizer graduates also go for an MTech, especially in computer sciences or data sciences after their BSMS at ISA. It's possible to do an MTech at IITs, IIITs or ISC after your BSMS, especially so if you have done your MS project in a computational topic like computational physics, computational earth sciences, etc. To go for an MTech, one needs to have a valid GATE score and usually there is no stipend and one has to pay the fees out of their own pockets. Now a lot of ISA graduates opt for an academic break of either one or two semesters after graduation. This is mostly done so that they get more time to work on their master's project so as to get a publication or they join a period doctoral project so as to gain more experience before embarking on their PhD journey or they prepare for competitive exams. Now most of the options that we discussed in this video 
are also applicable for people who wish to take a four year BS exit. However, there is one key difference. The difference is that PhD positions in Europe demand a master's degree as the minimum requirement for entry. Thus, most European PhD positions won't be available to BS exit graduate. With this, we conclude the part one of a student's review of the career prospects of a BSMS degree at ISAK. Thank you for watching.